All right, this is about Shanice Murray and the incident that happened last night. You know, I want to uh, first of all say good morning to Facebook, but everybody must be aware of Shanice Murray and what she got going on out here in Houston. You know, she, I grew up with her family as far as her mother and her father, and I made a promise that I was going to make sure I watched over her while she was out here in Houston. I'm from Gary, Indiana myself, so I felt sorry for her because she's from my hometown and she's closer to the home than I got out here. But enough of that. But the incident that happened yesterday, she woke me up 2 o'clock in the morning. Because everybody know I sell cars around here. I'm known as the car man. So she woke me up 2 o'clock in the morning and said she knows somebody who want to sell me a car. Now everybody know I shouldn't have been buying no car at no 2 o'clock in the morning. That was shame on me and I should have known better. But since I knew who she was, I didn't think that she had stooped this low and screwed me over, which she did. She strikes again. This ain't her first time, this ain't her second time, and I don't think it's going to be her last time for scheming people out their money. Number one, when I come out, the car, come out the house, I look at the car and see if it's something that I like. I really wasn't for sure the car. I didn't want the car. I told the man I didn't want the car. That's where she parked at. Every day. Watch what you step, because you might step in some of her shit. She shit and piss right here. That's just her toilet. She sits right here every day, making people feel sorry for her, talking about she's homeless, but she goes to Motel 6 every night after she has schemed everybody out their money throughout the day. Enough of that. Let's go back to the store. So I go look at the car. I didn't like the car because I didn't feel comfortable because the guy didn't have no title. She stuck her head out the window and say, oh, I like that car. I wonder if I could fit in that car. I'll buy the car, I'll trade the car for you for my car. I felt sorry for her, so therefore her car didn't run. So I gave, I gave the dude the money. She took the keys and I got her key. She hopped her ass up in that other car, drove off. Wherever she went to, I didn't know. Next morning, I didn't see her. She drove around in the car, drove around in the car, drove around in the car. Said she was gonna sell it. She posted the car up on offer up. Ended up selling the car the following day. I get her car fixed. Buy all the parts, get her car fixed. Once I get her car fixed, the guy who she recommended me to, as far as the mechanic, had affiliation with her too. His name is Ken. Do not let him work on your car. He's not your friend. His name is Ken. He drives a Burgundy Tahoe, and he's part of this plotting scheme as well. So she sell the car over here while I sell cars had to try to make it look like I had affiliation with this car. Maybe 10 minutes later, after she sell her car, she come to me and say, uh, I want my car back. I want my car back. And I was like, you can't get a car back that you traded. So she's trying to take the money, take her car back, and also get free labor. So she calls the police. She had to tell the police that she got a title to the car. Come to find out she ain't got no title to the car, she got no registration to the car, she can't even prove that it's her car. The police took matters in his own hand after he said that it was a silver matter. He took matters into his own hand and allowed her the keys back. She walked out here with my money, also with the car, and also free labor. I don't know what y'all done been through with this girl. But she must be exposed. She must be taken care of because this is ridiculous. It's happening not just to me, but it's happening to everybody upon Houston and out, outside of Houston. She got a fake Facebook page called Journey on the Go. She used to be on the 600 pounds show. She wanted everybody to feel sorry for her. She want to sleep in her car. She don't want to get out of her car. She don't want to do anything for herself. So ain't nobody can't keep feeling sorry for somebody who don't want to do nothing for themselves. All you're doing is you're wasting your money, wasting your time, and you built on lies. If, you, if you're a Christian and you know bull crap, you might as well give that money to somebody who really need it and stop giving it to Shanice Murray because Shanice Murray is a scam artist and she ain't just screwing me over, but she's screwing everybody over upon Houston. Seven, seven, Seven zero six zero. Everybody's getting screwed over in this Greens Point area. Everybody. She don't have gas in the morning. She makes sure that she got she got pills that she sell out here. She sell so-called sell weed that she sell out here, and she's not doing she not doing anything for herself. She call herself pregnant. She keep on getting caught because she giving everybody different dates when she got pregnant and when she supposed to have the baby.
That ain't got nothing to do with me. But at the end of the day, she's lying. I feel sorry for her. I give her money all throughout the week. I done took care of her all throughout the week. And, 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 and it comes to an end. She burnt her bridge. I'll hopefully with everybody in Houston if you're hearing this, this is an urgent message. message that everybody must know this, that Shanice Murray is a scam artist. And if you keep giving her money, all you're doing is wasting your time. She's not going to do anything with the money besides get high and spend it on this other dude that she kicking with, which is Mary. So how much did she tell you she sold the car for? A thousand dollars. How much she tell the police she sold the car for? Nine hundred. How much did she really sell the car for? I don't know because it wasn't, I, I, I didn't have nothing to do with the uh, transaction. I didn't know anything about the car being stolen until the car got sold. The people she sold the car to knew her. So they came back over here, they act like they was all upset, they bust the glass. Put to the glass. Oh, the window like they was upset. This is not her glass to the window, this is the glass to the car window. Of course, they were going to bust the glass of the car window to make it look like it was stolen even more. So it was all a plot of scheme, even the girls who brought the car. So when they was yelling about they want their money back, did they get it? No, they did not. She had to call her money, her, her mother, and her mother sold the girl that she was going to send them a Western Union. It was all a big circle, which was all a plot and a scheme. Is her mama really sick? Um, no, I, I know for a fact her mama is sick because I know her mama personally. Cause she telling everybody that her mama got COVID nineteen. That's her why she can't go back home. COVID nineteen. Her mama is not sick. Her mama know this, and I talk. I, I talk to her mama personally because that's how I end up with her. Because I didn't know her personally, but I know her mother and I know her family members back in Gary, Indiana. So then, why she won't go back home? Cause she telling everybody she can't go back home because she's her mama sick. COVID nineteen got her stuck out here. COVID nineteen. She been out here for over three years, going on four years. I mean, this is a, this is ridiculous. She got a husband out here, her husband and left her because she built on lies and she, all she do is scam people. She got a bunch of stuff in her car that don't belong to her. She don't do nothing but just take people from one area to another area, do tra uh, transport people to places to sell drugs. She ain't nothing but a fucking scam artist. Excuse my French on Facebook. Well, there you have it. Don't hate the player, hate the game.